Hi, I'm Dr. James Wu, an endocrine surgeon at UCLA Health. Today, I want to talk to you about a rare type of thyroid cancer called medullary thyroid cancer, or MTC. Most people are familiar with the more common types of thyroid cancer, such as papillary or follicular cancer. But medullary thyroid cancer is different. It acts differently, it's treated differently, and in some cases, it even runs in families. Let's go over what makes it unique and what you should know if you or someone you love has been diagnosed. First, what is medullary thyroid cancer? Medullary thyroid cancer starts in a different kind of thyroid cell, the C cell, which makes a hormone called calcitonin. This is different from the follicular cells that make thyroid hormone. Because it comes from a different cell type, medullary thyroid cancer doesn't respond to the usual treatments we use for other thyroid cancers, including radioactive iodine. The good news is that with the right surgery and follow-up, many patients do well. One of the first steps to diagnose medullary thyroid cancer is to check two blood tests, calcitonin and CEA, or carcinoembryonic antigen. These help us understand how much cancer is present and how active it is. We also recommend genetic testing for everyone. This looks for mutations in a gene called RET, or R-E-T. About 25% of cases are inherited, often as part of conditions called multiple endocrine neoplasia, and there's multiple types. If you have a RET mutation, it's important for your treatment and for your family. It helps us decide if your relative should also be tested. Uh, now let's move on and talk about treatment and why the first surgery is so important. The first surgery offers the best chance for cure. With some thyroid cancers, we can take a slower approach, but with medullary thyroid cancer, we want to get it right the first time. That means removing the whole thyroid and the lymph nodes based on where the cancer may have spread. We use a detailed neck ultrasound in clinic to help plan the surgery. It helps us check the lymph nodes in the middle and sides of the neck. And if we see anything concerning, we can remove the concerning lymph nodes during the first surgery as well. And why does this matter? It's because medullary thyroid cancer doesn't respond to radioactive iodine. Surgery is our main way to remove all of the cancer. We try to avoid multiple surgeries, so planning the first one well is key. The main treatment is a total thyroidectomy. That means removing the whole thyroid gland. We also remove the central lymph nodes. If the ultrasound shows spread to the side of the neck and to the lateral lymph nodes, we remove those as well. After surgery, we can track your calcitonin and CEA levels over time. If the surgery went well, these levels should drop a lot and sometimes they'll go undetectable. If they stay high or start to rise again, we may need more imaging to look for cancer that starts to grow back or spread. In cases where the cancer spreads or comes back, we now have newer treatments, including targeted therapies, especially for patients with RET mutations. These aren't the first treatment option, but they can help if surgery didn't remove all the cancer and other surgeries are not feasible or safe. Now, what about the prognosis? Let's compare medullary thyroid cancer to papillary thyroid cancer, which is the most common type. Papillary thyroid cancer has an excellent outlook. The 10-year survival is around 97%, and it's even higher for low-risk patients. Medullary thyroid cancer has a more mixed outlook. If it's only in the thyroid, the 10-year survival is about 95.6%. If it has spread to the lymph nodes, survival is lower at 75%. If it has spread to other parts of the body, it's closer to 40%. And this shows how important it is for early detection and the right surgery to give you the best outcomes. So to sum it up, here are the key points. Medullary thyroid cancer is rare and comes from C cells, not the usual thyroid cells. It makes calcitonin, which we use to track the disease. Genetic testing for RET mutations is important for you and your family. And surgery is the main treatment, and getting it right the first time is really key. We'll use a neck ultrasound to help plan that first surgery and to guide what we do, which is usually a total thyroidectomy and removal of any involved lymph nodes. After surgery, we're going to measure calcitonin and CEA as markers for occurrence. And if needed, there are other treatments available uh, for advanced cases. At UCLA Health, our endocrine surgery team works with endocrinologists, genetic counselors, and oncologists to provide full care for patients with medullary thyroid cancer. If you want to learn more or schedule a visit, please visit our website or give us a call. We're here to help. Thanks for watching. I'm James Wu. Take care, and I'll see you next time.